Hey, I hope everybody's having a great day out there. Uh, as I'm recording this video in Southern California, gosh, we just got through a bunch of big rainstorms and everything was kind of falling apart. And now we've got wind, so nothing, uh, nothing boring going on here in Southern California where I'm sitting today. So, but hope you guys are doing well watching this video. Wanted to make a video on virtual CISO, virtual CISO, VCISO, whatever you want to call it. Um, virtual chief information security officer. What is that service? So wanted, you know, as I was kind of going through topics that I could talk about, I just came across that one and thought, you know what, there's, it, it's obvious what it is initially, but there's a lot of details that what's included with a VC. So what's included with that? What should that entail or what can that entail? So I wanted to make a quick video on that, but before I get too deep into it, quick plug, if you like my recommendations on the best vendors to quote for a virtual CISO service, go ahead and reach out and contact me, shoot me an email, give me a call. What I'll do is I'll ask you a few questions based on those questions about your company's requirements. I'll tell you which virtual CISO vendors you, your company should be quoting and why, and I'll actually pair you up with them and oversee the quoting process, make sure you get the best pricing and everything, and it's absolutely free of charge to you. So no reason not to reach out to me. More information on that at the, at the end of the video. And please, as always, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That would really help me out. We're just over 900 subscribers at this point in time, and I'd love to get over a thousand. That'd be a lot of fun. So, really appreciate it. Um, that'd be a big favor to me. Okay, so a virtual chief information security officer. So your company is obviously in the market for something like this. So you're looking around, going, "Hey, with this cybersecurity, you know, thing going on, there, you know." there's a lot going on you know every company needs they need to do more and more in terms of protection but the problem is is that is that they don't really know where to start or they don't know there's so many different things they could do out there they just need some direction and a virtual CISO is a great avenue for that but what's included with that so if you go look for a virtual CISO what does that mean really like what are they going to bring to the table specifically compared to all the other cybersecurity services that you could be purchasing out there. So whether it's like MDR or XDR, or endpoint management, or you know, cybersecurity as a service, or all these different types of things you could be purchasing as a business, why should you purchase a virtual CISO as opposed to all those other things? What's included with that? Well, the first thing that's included with that is credentials. All right, so you know, when somebody is becoming an expert in the field at cybersecurity, they have to go out and get certified. You know, you don't have to, but that's definitely a mark that shows that you've gone through the steps, you've, you've gone through the classes, you're certified. So those certifications aren't cheap to attain. They're very lengthy in time. It takes a lot of education, a lot of time, a lot of money to achieve especially the higher certifications in cybersecurity. So that's first, is you're purchasing someone who's gone through the time and money to, to educate themselves, which brings me to the second point, is you're getting an education with somebody when you're hiring a virtual CISO. So you're getting somebody who not only has the certifications, but has educated themselves on cybersecurity, has gone through all the classes, has learned everything. I mean, that just takes, again, a lot of time and a lot of money. The third thing that you're getting is experience. So we all know you could have all the credentials in the world and all the education in the world, but what about practical experience? Well, the cool thing is when you are hiring a virtual CISO, what you should be looking for is experience in the field. How many companies have they worked with? How many companies do they work with? How many years of experience do they have as a virtual CISO? How many companies have they helped over the years, right? So if you get somebody who's one year into it, that's not saying a whole lot, but if you get somebody who's been doing this for 10 years, hey, that's starting to, to make a difference. And that's somebody that's gonna be very hard for your company to hire out. So hiring someone with 10 years of virtual CISO experience is gonna be really expensive, and then on, it's gonna be hard to find the right person, and on top of that, it's gonna be very hard to keep that person 
and constantly be hiring a new person for that role. So getting somebody with experience is gonna help you out a lot and it's not easy to find. So it's very, it's a lot easier to just hire that out from a third party. And the last thing that you're getting is somebody who's attending ongoing training. So not only have they been trained in the past, they're attending ongoing training throughout that you're not having to schedule, you're not having to pay for, you're not having to search and find. Because as we all know, cybersecurity is changing every single day. So you really need that person to not only be experienced and educated and certified, you need them to continue to educate themselves as it changes every single day. So you're getting that hopefully with a virtual CISO. Okay, so what specific services can a virtual CISO do for your company? Okay, the first thing that comes up a lot is compliance consulting. So if your company has to be compliant in certain areas like HIPAA or PCI compliant or any of the other type of certifications that your company has to uphold, you have to be compliant in certain areas, a virtual CISO can help your company maintain its compliance in those areas. Another service that a virtual CISO can provide your company is help you determine which framework your organization should be using for your cybersecurity. So what roadmap should you be following? Should you be looking at NIST? Should you be looking at CIS? Should, there, there's so many different frameworks out there. Where do you start and which one you, should you be using and why? Well, someone who's very experienced and educated in this field can, can, can come in and give you some great advice in that territory. So that's a great start. All right, so moving from the framework, the next step is obviously creating a cybersecurity posture, which is kind of like your company's cybersecurity strategy overall. So taking that framework and saying, okay, from this framework, here's the most important things and here's our overall strategy for cybersecurity. This is our posture. So that's, that's something else that they can help you determine. So kind of playing off that framework there. Another service that they can perform for you is helping your company obtain cybersecurity insurance. They can number one tell you, hey, should your company seek and purchase cybersecurity insurance? And if you should, they can help you go and get the cybersecurity insurance, make sure you're in compliance so that if there is a breach or there is an incident, the cybersecurity insurance will actually cover it. Because a lot of times, your company may go out and get cybersecurity insurance, but if you don't have somebody really helping you translate that policy and understand what that policy is saying, if there's a breach, you might not be in compliance with the policy, so you might still have to pay out of pocket and it may go completely to waste. So something else that a virtual CISO can help you with. Okay, well what about incident response? What about policy and procedures? What about pen testing? Should you be doing it? How often should you be doing it? These are all also things that a virtual CISO can help you with. They can help you create those policies and procedures. They have templates that they've already used with other companies that they can help you just kind of plug and play. Okay, these are the policies, these are the procedures that you should be communicating to your employees. Here's how to communicate them in the most effective manner. Here's how to do the test. Here's how to, you know, to, to test it regularly. If there is an incident, here's what you're gonna do. Here's how to respond. Those are all things that a, a VC so can help you with. And the last thing on my list as far as what a virtual chief information security officer can help your company do is create a roadmap moving forward. So when you first decide on that framework and you first start looking at your current state of affairs in terms of your company's cybersecurity, you're gonna find a lot of gaps. Everyone has all these gaps where there's so many different things that you can do. Well, which projects do you tackle first? And, and then which project is for next year and the year after and the year after that? Because we all know that your company can probably only do maybe two major cybersecurity projects per year at most. Well, which projects are gonna be the most important and then which should be on the roadmap for the future years? That's really hard to determine if you don't have the experience, if you don't have the education, if you don't have the credentials. So that's something a virtual CISO can help your company with, is not only decide this year's projects, but next year's projects and create a roadmap 
for your company for the next five years out in terms of the best cybersecurity projects for your company that you should be working on in addition to just the day-to-day -day stuff. So I hope that helped a little bit in terms of defining a virtual CISO and I hope that gives you some clarification. If you'd like my recommendation on the best companies to quote for virtual CISO services, just reach out, give me a call, shoot me an email. I'm happy to help. What I'll do is I'll ask you a few questions based on your company's answers to those questions in terms of your company's requirements. I'll know exactly which vendors your company should be quoting and I'll introduce you to the right people within those companies and I'll also oversee the quoting process to make sure you get the best pricing from each vendor. And the nice thing is, is, it, is if you end up choosing one of the vendors and purchasing from them, one of the ones that I recommended, that vendor pays me my broker fee. So you don't ever have to pay me for my services. So there's no reason you shouldn't at least reach out and get my opinion as opposed to going on the internet. There's a thousand different vendors you could choose from. You're probably gonna end up with the wrong, wrong one if you don't talk to someone who knows what they're doing. So. Feel free to reach out, contact me. I love talking about this stuff. I'm happy to help. I do this all day, every day. You're not wasting my time. Just give me a call. And then again, if you like the video, uh, please do me a big favor, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.